The Aranyakas, Sanskrit, Aranyaka Aranyaka constitutes the philosophy behind ritual sacrifice of the ancient Hindu sacred texts, the Vedas. They typically represent the later sections of Vedas, and are one of many layers of the Vedic texts. The other parts of Vedas are the Samhitas benedictions, hymns, Brahmanas commentary, and the Upanishads spirituality and abstract philosophy. Aranyakas describe and discuss rituals from various perspectives, but some include philosophical speculations. For example, the Katha Aranyaka discusses rituals connected with the Pravagya. The Itaraya Aranyaka includes explanation of the Mahavrata ritual from ritualistic to symbolic meta-ritualistic points of view. Aranyakas, however, neither are homogeneous in content nor in structure. Aranyakas are sometimes identified as karma kanda, karma kanda kanda ritualistic action, sacrifice section, while the Upanishads are identified as jnana kanda, jnana kanda kanda knowledge, spirituality section. In an alternate classification, the early part of Vedas are called Samhitas and the ritualistic commentary on the mantras and rituals are called the Brahmanas which together are identified as the ceremonial Karma Kanda, while Aranyakas and Upanishads are referred to as the Jnana Kanda. In the immense volume of ancient Indian Vedic literature, there is no absolute universally true distinction between Aranyakas and Brahmanas. Similarly, there is no absolute distinction between Aranyakas and Upanishads, as some Upanishads are incorporated inside a few Aranyakas. Aranyakas, along with Brahmanas, represent the emerging transitions in later Vedic religious practices. The transition completes with the blossoming of ancient Indian philosophy from external sacrificial rituals to internalized philosophical treatise of Upanishads. Topic Etymology Aranyaka Aranyaka literally means produced, born, relating to a forest, or rather, belonging to the wilderness. It is derived from the word Aranya, Aranya, which means wilderness. Several theories have been proposed on the origin of the word Aranyaka. Originally, as per Oldenburg 1915, it meant dangerous texts to be studied in the wilderness Tate. R. 2. A later, post-Vedic theory holds that these texts were meant to be studied in a forest, while the other holds that the name came from these being the manuals of allegorical interpretation of sacrifices, for those in Vanaprastha retired, forest dwelling stage of their life, however the Vanaprastha ashrama came into existence only well after that of the Sannyasin .According to the historic age-based ashrama system of human life, Taitriya R. 2 says, "...from where one cannot see the roofs of the settlement", which does not indicate a forested area. <laughs> <laughs> Discussion Structure <laughs> 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 Aranyakas are diverse in their structure. Jan Gonda summarizes, The structure of the Aranyakas is as little homogeneous as their contents. Some portions have the character of a Samhita, others of a Brahmana, others again of a Sutra, according to the material that, varying from Veda to Veda, and from school to school, was collected in an Aranyaka corpus. Linguistically and stylistically also, these works form a transition between the Brahmanas proper and the speculative literature that follows them and develops part of the ideas and lines of thought which are characteristic of them. Many Aranyaka texts enumerate mantras, identifications, etymologies, discussions, myths and symbolic interpretations, but a few such as by sage Aranaketu include hymns with deeper philosophical insights. Contents <laughs> 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 
The Aranyakas discuss sacrifices, in the language and style of the Brahmanas, and thus are primarily concerned with the proper performance of ritual orthopraxy. The Aranyakas were restricted to a particular class of rituals that nevertheless were frequently included in the Vedic curriculum. The Aranyakas are associated with, and named for, individual Vedic shakas. Rigveda Itareya Aranyaka belongs to the Itareya Shaka of Rigveda Kaushataki Aranyaka belongs to the Kaushataki and Shankhyana Shakas of Rigveda Yajurveda Taitriya Aranyaka belongs to the Taitriya Shaka of the Krishna Yajurveda Maitrayanya Aranyaka belongs to the Maitrayanya Shaka of the Krishna Yajurveda Katha Aranyaka belongs to the Karaka Katha Shaka of the Krishna Yajurveda Briad Aranyaka in the Madhyandina and the Kanva versions of the Shukla Yajurveda. The Madhyandina version has nine sections, of which the last six are the Briad Aranyaka Upanishad. Samaveda Talavakara Aranyaka or Jaiminya Upanishad Brahmana belongs to the Talavakara or Jaiminya Shaka of the Samaveda. Aranyaka Samhita is not a typical Aranyaka text, rather, the Purvachika of the Samaveda Samhitas has a section of mantras, called the Aranyaka Samhita, on which the Aranyagana Samans are sung. The Atharvaveda has no surviving Aranyaka, though the Gopatha Brahmana is regarded as its Aranyaka, a remnant of a larger, lost Atharva Brahmana. Topic: Itareya Aranyaka. There are five chapters, each of which is even considered as a full Aranyaka. The first one deals with the regimen known as Mahavrata. The explanations are both ritualistic as well as speculative. The second one has six chapters, of which the first three are about prana vidya, meaning prana, the vital air that constitutes the life breath of a living body, is also the life breath of all mantras, all Vedas, and all Vedic declarations. Cf. 2.2.2 of Itareya Aranyaka. It is in this portion of the Aranyaka that one finds specific statements about how one who follows the Vedic injunctions and performs the sacrifices goes to become the god of fire, or the sun or air and how one who transgresses the Vedic prescriptions is born into lower levels of being, namely, as birds and reptiles. The fourth, fifth and sixth chapters of this second Aranyaka constitute what is known as Itareya Upanishad. The third Aranyaka in this chain of Aranyakas is also known as Samhitopanishad. This elaborates on the various ways, like Pada Partha, Krama Partha, etc. of reciting the Vedas and the nuances of the Svaras. The fourth and the fifth Aranyaka are technical and dwell respectively on the mantras known as Mahanamni and the Yajna known as Madhyandina. Topic: Taitriya Aranyaka. There are ten chapters, of which one to six form the Aranyaka proper. The first two chapters are part of the Astau Kathakani, the eight Kathaka sections, which were not native to the tradition of the Taitriya Shaka. They were adopted from the Kathaka Shaka, and mostly deal with varieties of the Agnikayana ritual and with Vedic study. Chapter 1, is a very late Vedic chapter, which even has some Puranic names, it is usually called the Aruna Prasna for the particular style of fire brick piling dealt with in the text. It is also referred to as the Surya Namaskara chapter, by South Indian Brahmins who have created a ritual of reciting it with Surya Namaskara exercises after each of its 132 Anuvakas. Parts of the Katha version of this section has been published by L. V. Schroeder in 1898. Chapter 2 discusses the five Maha Yajnas that every Brahman has to do daily, most importantly, the daily recitation of the Veda. 
further, the sacred thread, the Yainopavita, Sandhya worship, that of the ancestors Pitta, the Brahma Yajna, and the cleansing Homa sacrifice Kusmanda Homa are all treated in detail. In this chapter the word shramana is used two, seven, one, in the meaning of an ascetic tapasvin, this word was later used also for the Buddhist and Jain ascetics. Discussed and translated by C.H. Malamud in French, 1977, the Katha version of this section has been published by L. V. Schroeder in 1898. Chapter 3 – Treats technicalities of several other homas and yajnas. Chapter 4 – Provides the mantras used in the Pravagya Shrauta ritual that is considered to be dangerous as it involves heating a specially prepared clay vessel full of milk until it is glowing red. It is fairly close to the Katha version. Chapter 5 – Treats the Pravagya Yajna in prose discussion, Brahmana style. Again, it is fairly close to the Katha version. Chapter 6 – Records the Pitmeda mantras, recited during the rituals for the disposal of the dead body. Chapters 7, 8 and 9, are the three valas of the well-known Taittiriya Upanishad. Chapter 10, is also known as the Mahanarayana Upanishad. It has several important mantras culled from the three Samhitas. Ta 10.41-44 is known as the Medha Sukta. Katha Aranyaka The Katha Aranyaka is fairly parallel to the text of the Taitrius. It has been preserved, somewhat fragmentarily, in just one Kashmiri birchbark manuscript. It has recently been edited and translated, cf. the early uncritical print by L. Von Schroeder. <laughs> Shankhyana Aranyaka There are 15 chapters Chapters 1–2 deal with the Mahavrata. Chapters 3–6 constitute the Kaushitaki Upanishad. Chapters 7 to 8 are known as a Samhitopanishad. Chapter 9 presents the greatness of prana. Chapter 10 deals with the esoteric implications of the Agnihot ritual. All divine personalities are inherent in the Purusha, just as Agni in speech, Vayu in prana, the sun in the eyes, the moon in the mind, the directions in the ears and water in the potency. The one who knows this, says the Aranyaka, and in the strength of that conviction goes about eating, walking, taking and giving, satisfies all the gods and what he offers in the fire reaches those gods in heaven. Cf.10-1 Chapter 11 prescribes several antidotes in the form of rituals for warding off death and sickness. It also details the effects of dreams. Chapter 12 elaborates the fruits of prayer. Chapter 13 treats more philosophical matters and says one must first attitudinally discard one's bodily attachment and then carry on the shravana, manjana and nidhidyasana and practice all the disciplines of penance, faith, self-control etc. Chapter 14 gives just two mantras. One extols the I am Brahman mantra and says it is the apex of all Vedic mantras. The second mantra declares that one who does not get the meaning of mantras but only recites Vedic chants is like an animal which does not know the value of the weight it carries. Chapter 15 gives a long genealogy of spiritual teachers from Brahma down to Guna Sankhyana. Topic: Briad Aranyaka. The Aranyaka of the Shukla Yajurveda is part of its Brahmana Satipatha Bridge 14:1-3 in the Majindina version. Like the Taittiriya and Katha Aranyakas, it exclusively deals with the Parvagya ritual and is followed by the Briad Aranyaka Upanishad Satipatha Bridge 14.4-9.
Topic: Rahasya Brahmanas. There is also a certain continuity of the Aranyakas from the Brahmanas in the sense that the Aranyakas go into the meanings of the secret rituals not detailed in the Brahmanas. Later tradition sees this as a leap into subtlety that provides the reason for Durgacharya in his commentary on the Narukta to say that the Aranyakas are Rahasya Brahmana, that is, the Brahmana of secrets. Topic. See also Briad Aranyaka Upanishad equals equals notes. <laughs>